Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are showcasing a new item today. This one's from Something Wicked and this is Rogue Planet. This one is pretty interesting. So a pretty huge range upgrade as you can see. Spawns a planetoid orbital that your tiers will orbit. So let's see how that works. There you go. <laughs> so it's kind of like Tiny Planet, but if the planet is orbiting you, and the tiers then orbit that planet. So hitting things is going to be um, a little bit difficult. But this has some really, really wacky and weird synergy potential. And just a simple one for my question of the day. What's your thoughts on, like, Tiny Planet and, like, um, I forget the name of the other item. Uh, this is another one where we get two items. Very nice, very nice. Um, and um, I don't know what the, those light things are about there, but I'll take it. Um... And, like, items that, that are, are controversial, what, what's kind of your thoughts on some of those? Are, are, those, are those items that you take, like, if you come across a tiny planet or a strange attractor, are you going to grab it? Are you going to take the risk, or does it depend on the run for you? For me, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'll always grab them. I think those, those wacky and weird items are what make Isaac so wonderful, and not taking them is just doing a disservice to yourself. Um, obviously, if you're on an absolute banger run, you know it'll spoil the run. But I think Tiny Planet's one of those items that people assume is going to wreck their run. Dude, I cannot hit anything right now. Um, they assume it's going to wreck their run, but I really think that in most runs it doesn't. And same with Soy Milk as well. That's another one that people tend to not take because they think it's going to ruin their run. I think it's super rare that a Soy Milk will completely ruin a run. I think most of the time it's actually, like, pretty fun to have. Oh my god, I'm taking some bad damage here. Not being able to hit the things I want to hit is, uh, certainly not helping. But let's, uh, go back and check out this room over here. Secret room, do we, do we have an inkling on secret room? I am not at all happy about this room. Not being able to directly, like, knock enemies back when they're coming at you is pretty rough. Honestly, having, um, a little scapegoat here, a little punching bag is very, very nice. It's very, very nice to have. Um, I'm just going to quickly check out where Secret Room might be here. I think it's below here. It's not. Okay. Um, hmm. It's probably to the left of this boss room here then, right? I would imagine this is it here. There you go, baby. There you go. Um, and we've got a bunch of these more light beams again. Which just seem to be like a random consumable. Or, or a, um, an item, surprisingly so. And we can actually grab both of these, which I think is pretty worthwhile doing. Oh, actually, I could reroll the the the, the pebble here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, Soul of Eden! I forgot that you reroll everything. Still, battery bombs is interesting. We'll take it. Okay. Um, yeah, that didn't really go the way I was hoping it would. I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> that's not what my plans were. But hey, ho, we in it now. But yeah, this is going to stun him for a little bit, which is pretty nice. It actually stopped him from spawning stuff there, which is kind of nice. The electricity there doing some extra damage. The stun keeps going. Oh my god, he's turned into the burning bag. He has become the burning bag. Honestly, this toadstool item seems really, really, really good. Uh, that is creating a large cloud for a very long time that is stunning everything. It does seem that obviously the, 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 the tears circles for a long time here, but... Oh god, it's it's hard to hit things accurately. I'll say that for sure. It's hard to hit things accurately. Hey, so more shot speed is actually not terrible here. And the black art is, uh, is pretty nice. Second secret room. Let's just quickly check this out. Nah. Didn't think so. Right, let's keep it going. I'm going to go alt path here. Why not? I haven't been alt path in a little bit of time. And I think we have a decent set of items to do so with. But yeah, bungled, bungled that secret room a little bit. Those cracked keys could have been uh, could have been pretty interesting for us. But sadly, they were not. Sadly, they were not. Yeah, I do still have the God Mode mod enabled at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to keep it enabled all the time. Main reason I say that is just... Um, did one of those chests have nothing in it? Torn Page. There's apparently a card in here called Torn Page that I can't see. Um... But one of the main reasons being that some of the item rooms are, like, really powerful. We saw one uh, just a minute ago giving us two items there. And I think it's actually a bug. I think the developer just hasn't set the uh, parameters correctly of those rooms. I want this torn page that's invisible. It's showing up in my EID descriptions, but I don't visually see it anywhere. 
My god. Toadstool wasn't the best of throws there. It creates a huge area of stunning that seems to be pretty consistent on regular enemies. There it is. Torn page. Torn page. Oh, it, it used Satanic Bible. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get a devil deal at the end of uh, end of this floor, which interesting idea. I mean, we got a black out of it. I'm very happy with that. Oh, man. Hitting an enemy like this with Rogue Planet. Oh, man. Look at this. This is... Uh, not, not too, not too easy. Not too easy. Oh man. There you go. Oh, we got a trinket there. Removes poison and explosive fire clouds near the player. Um, I, I really don't think that's that valuable. Fool's gold. Um, curse pennies can drop on room clear high replacement chance. Do you know what? I'm gonna take that. Curse pennies can actually be really, really good. The fact that they can give you an all stats up is pretty awesome. Oh, that was a bad hit. But. Basically, I think what we what we ought to be doing here is standing within the cloud, which isn't the safest of options, but I think it's relatively safe because they're gonna it's gonna stop us taking contact damage really for the most part. So two room charge as well, which is pretty darn good. Oh, we got a webbed room here. I'm not sure what the webbed rooms do. I'm not quite sure what's going on with this room. There is an enemy in here apparently. Oh, there you go. Ah, he was easy peasy. Um, and then we get the bean here. So this is a double treasure again. So we get the bean here. Oh! Uh, it said double treasure room in the bottom and it was a god murder room. So I assumed it, I could take both items again. Never trust anything or anyone. We got the bean for no good reason. Although the bean does fart when you use that active now, I think. So, so the webbing, oh, the webbing just literally slows us in the next room. Okay, that's not so bad for this room. Only initially at the start as well. It wasn't a permanent slowdown, so... Wasn't all bad. Wasn't all bad. Honestly, having our punching bag here is helping a lot. Dude, I cannot hit this guy to save my life. <laughs> Give me that tech zero, baby. Give me that tech zero. That will, uh... That will alleviate so much pain right now. <laughs> the accuracy qualms that we have here... Could be alleviated. Oh, I'm, I'm taking some bad damage at the moment. Unfortunately, these enemies are a bit rough because they fire shots at us, and we're not really privy to when they're going to die because we don't know when we're going to hit them. Ow. Taking some really, really bad damage here. I actually don't know what hit me there. Yeah, so we do fire on using that. Whoa, what's going on with this body? Okay, I might actually die in this room here because it's really, really, really hard to keep an eye on what tiers are mine and what are his. I'll be honest, I'm having... Little to no idea. And also, he keeps shooting at my little punching bag buddy on occasion, which makes things all the more confusing. Okay, I had to bomb him there, otherwise we were going to die. You've got to be kidding me. That's such a good item. What happens if I... What happens if I do this? Damn you. <laughs> Damn you, I had to try it. I'm just going to restart, boys. I had to try it. I had to. <laughs> we were so early into that run, I was like, for some reason, I had the inclination that maybe, just maybe, the Eternal Heart let me survive it. Obviously, that's not the case. I should know that by now, but I wasn't, I wasn't willing to accept defeat in that, that scenario. So we do get Extinction Event here, which is actually kind of interesting with Planetoid. I don't actually know how that's going to work. Um, will they rotate around us too? I don't think so, but I'm happy to have it. By the way, don't ask why Kane starts with that little rock. I genuinely have no idea. Yeah, Extinction Event is pretty good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hitting things is uh, not the easiest. Oh my god, it's so difficult when like you don't know which way the enemy is going to be knocked back as well. How did I not hit? Look at this. Every single shot's missing. Oh man! Oh, thank you for that half heart back. I uh, I welcome that heavily. So let's pop this down. It does destroy rocks as well, which is rather nice. I don't know if it can open secret rooms. Oh, does the explosions hurt me? Or was that just me getting hit at the exact same time as an explosion? I think more than likely it was. Oh no, they do hurt me. Okay, that's that's uh, that makes this item a lot worse than I initially thought it was. A lot, lot worse than I initially thought it was. Okay, guys, there you go. Got a key there, good, good. 
What in the ever-living shit is this room? Why, why is this a first floor room? I don't need extra traps when I'm fighting these goobers. That doesn't aid me in any way, shape, or form. That just hinders me. Heavily. I'm already having a really, really hard time hitting this guy. I don't have a lot of fire rate to work with here, so... This is uh, going slowly. Oh my god, I'm going to die again, aren't I? God mode is, uh, is interesting, to say the least. My god. Ah, that was so close. That was so, so close. We got him. We got fruit salad, uh, which is going to give us one max heart, two heart, um, eight random fruit. A lot of range. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Still going to go alt path as we did do that last time. I'm going to do it again. Um, have we been to our item? Oh, yeah, we got Extinction Event. Okay. Extinction Event, yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about it. It seems like it could be good, but uh, the fact that it can hurt me definitely puts it more in the category of ooky spooky. That's a full run reroll. We can't be taking that. That's uh, we'll remo remove our planetoid. <laughs> this item's so funky. I love it. I'm just hoping we get something that's going to like really lean into it. That was a stupid bit of damage right there. Crack these open while we've got the uh, extras for it. Mustard seed is lovely. Anti-grav would have been rather intriguing. There's a Yera in here, so let's uh, try and not... That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to try and get a soul heart before I blew that up. Damn you, game. <laughs> Damn you. I could have also brought some stuff in here to Yera as well. I'm pretty sure that would have Yera'd the items, actually, as well, if I'd have paid attention. So that's that's definitely a bit of an L there for me. I, I made some mistakes. Dude, it pushed him right into me. It pushed him right into me. Where'd this charmed guy come from? Was that Mustard Seed that did that for us? I think it was. We're getting pennies on the regular at the moment. That's kind of good. Um, are these ghosties? These are ghosties, aren't they? Yeah. That's a reflected ghosty. I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, I'm going to say that unfortunately that reflected doesn't exactly work the way it should. Quickly check out a shop considering we've almost got enough to purchase. Cloth on a string. I think I know what that is. 5% damage dealt per... 5% uh, damage dealt per other instance of same enemy in the room. 1% chance for item pedestal to turn into cloth of gold if not earned already. Okay, I'll take that. That seems different and interesting. I'll give it a go. I just need one extra penny to make it work. Curse of the Tower, you say? This run's already got a zero quality to start us off. Why not make it zero quality -er? Why not add to the zero qualityness of this run? I say, why the hell not? Soul heart there. We've got plenty of bombs to work with the boss here, so let's just get to it. I'm just going to use bombs here. It's easier than, than even focusing on my tears. Rainbow Fragment. I've got enough to check out a devil deal here, so I think I'll do exactly that. Thank you. And then what we got going on here? Spirit of Denial. Grants immunity to Curse of the Blind. Reveals blind item pencil on the alt path. We're on the alt path right now. Once per room spawns a Denial dice. Yes, we'll take that. Um, tears leave oil. Uh, creep on impact. Walking over oil will ignite it. I think we go with that. And then the Denial D9 allows us to reroll, so we'll reroll that into Voodoo Pin, of which I will take one. And I'm taking both, because I think Voodoo Pin, having two of them, gives us a 50% chance to negate all damage, which seems pretty good. I've put myself in a pretty dire position here, I realize, um, but I think this could be interesting. Right, bomb this. Damn it, I was really hoping we'd get a soul heart there. I put my health in a, in a very dire spot here, but... 
I'm willing to see how it goes, how it pans out. We got some good stuff here. We've still got another secret room to find this floor as well, which will help. But yeah, I'm hoping double voodoo pin means 25% chance to not take damage doubled and will give us a 50% chance to take no damage. That helps a lot. Second secret room we are now looking for. What we got going on in here? I guess I can do this and re-roll it into, yeah, a soul of Ezel, which isn't really what I was looking for, but thank you. Uh, I will take this on the off chance it becomes useful in a specific room. Those denial dices are going to be everywhere on the minimap right now. I just kind of have to deal with that, I think. Okay. Here. There you go. I don't know what these red pennies do. Oh, they increase a little thing that I've got underneath me. They're like Mario red pennies, I guess. Interesting. Right, we will be going. Uh, I will quickly just do this and see if I can reroll that into anything better. Yes. <laughs> I was like, please don't be anything bad, but I'm playing as Kane, so we got lucky there. Okay, health is back back on, on track, kind of. This is becoming an interesting run. Boom, 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 boom. I can quickly grab that and then grab all of these. And grab that again. This, I'm, I'm going to re-roll this and see what other trinket we get. When collecting red hearts, you have a 50% chance to turn them into a random red wisp. Interesting? Kind of interesting. I, I definitely need some damage up right now is what I'm feeling. Please no. Okay, thank you. My god, you are tough. What we got going on in here? So, no invisible item, good. Um, while holding the fire button, short range tears shoot from my sides. It's not that good. I'm gonna re I'm gonna gamble, I'm gonna re-roll. Oh, crystal shard, baby. Turns tears into pink piercing crystals. When a tear hits an enemy for the first time, it spawns three more crystals. This could be wacky. This could be weird. This could be wonderful. This is an item I've been wanting to showcase. Um, in, an, in just like a run on its own, but this this might be this might be good enough as is. Right, give me that denial dice. It just lets you re-roll like so much stuff. I mean, it's it's one of those items that's kind of good and bad because it's, it's good for what it does, but it does potentially lead to wasting a lot of time. I won't say wasting, but like, oh yes, okay, this is a very 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 good item for us. Don't pick up the money. We want to leave the money on the floor for now and pick it up with this trinket to make more for my money. This is why I'm taking Petrified Poop around with me. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this gets pretty wacky pretty fast. I'm telling you, pretty wacky, pretty fast. Oh man, I'm taking some bad damage. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got Curse of the Tower as well. That is, uh, that that is a little scary. Another penny there. Another penny there. It just, it ramps up so quickly into just so many tears. So what I mean about the synergy potential for this is pretty high. Reroll into another heart. Damn you, that's not another heart. Okay, we've got all our pennies here. Secret room, lovely. For eight seconds, Oh. Is that that good? I don't think that's super useful for us. Just gonna take these pennies. I'm gonna go back 
And I think I'm going to grab that pomegranate. I would like a key to get into our shop. I'm going to grab the pomegranate. Getting into our shop would be rather nice here, but I don't think that's going to happen for us. Right. Boss time. Little bit of an awkward boss fight room here. We've turned him to gold with Slick Spade. Oh man. They, uh, they are very recursive. I think the crystals are spawning crystals that are spawning crystals. I don't think that's intentional. I don't know how I just walked into that guy. Then This, this, this might kill me right now. Okay, we're, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. If the tears could, could, could despawn, that'd be great. Right, the ladle. Heart container, plus speed, plus speed after taking damage uh, re resets. Okay. Nice. I'll take that. I'll take that. Right. Um, We did manage to bomb this, which is nice, because I do want to go down here. Huh. <sighs> okay. Yeah, the crystal's going to be a little bit crazy. We did get the new floor here as well, which is cool. Good old grotto. I will keep the key, thank you. Yeah, I don't think the crystals that, that get smaller should be able to spawn more crystals, but at the minute, they very clearly can. Jumpy buddy having a hard time there. Oh, I opened that chest. I really didn't want to open that chest. I've been trying to avoid that. The worst part is it didn't even give me much either. Open that chest for no... Please, Tia. Please don't hit me. See how close that red tear is to me? Thank you. <laughs> a bit disappointed with that. I really didn't want to use that key there, but... It is what it is. I got hit for a full heart of damage there. HP up again. I'm a bit scared being on one heart right now. Please save us. Okay, we were saved. Damn it, no soul heart, but we were saved there somewhat. Do these drop anything when I bomb them? No, they do not. Ooh, a sun card. We already know what the secret room is here. Anyways. I'm going to pop the sun card anyways, even though we already have mapping. Okay, let's keep this going. More fire rate would make this just even wacky than it already is. The poop flies going wild. Ooh, what's what's you, Snake Boy? I don't know you. Damn it! Don't spawn a troll bomb for me. I've got enough of those when I get hit. Cool. Killed that guy right as he came out the wall there. Right, we're gonna have to use denial dice here to try and get some uh some more keys and bombs, because we are lacking right now. Another key. Montezuma's Revenge is interesting. I don't know why that item's hidden. It shouldn't be. Um, it said that all alt path items are uh, revealed, but I guess because it's a modded one, it doesn't count or something. I'll take Montezuma's Revenge anyways. I love the music on this floor. It's a bit wacky. Okay. Oh, baby. Another pill. Pills have been good for us so far. Telepills isn't what I was looking for, but it's not exactly that bad either. We good? We are good. Shop we don't need right now. I'll pop this, even though it's not the best of ideas. Ow! I didn't even know what hit me there. 
This is a new boss to me. Dude. Okay, I can't be... I don't think it's meant to be able to hit you, but it, it, it definitely can right now. Probably not going to use that much anymore. Might have to swap that active out. ASAP. Tears and luck is nice. It, it keeps going after the room is cleared as well. Please stop. <laughs> you are scaring me. Majorly scaring me. Ah, for fuck's sake, man. Getting hit way more than I should be. <laughs> I love the fact that Montezuma's Revenge is curled as well. It's just impossible to, like, keep enemies away from us in the way that we know how to normally. Hey, money's coming our way. That's nice. Ow. And then here, Giant Cell isn't it. I'll, I'll reroll Giant Cell first. I'll take that, because we need bombs. And the health is good. There's another bomb, lovely. Unfortunately, Blood Bag doesn't actually give you any bombs. I forgot about that. I had forgotten about that. Right, let's try and go to our shop first here. I think we've got an interesting run, though. We've got something that could work. Still, I'm getting hit a bit more than I should be, as proven by the hit that I just took. Oh, and that one as well. Ah, Blood Bombs does also affect us uh, with our thingy as well. Cast the tower, so that's not bad. Another... Dude, there's just so many health ups in our pool right now, it's wild. I'm pretty sure the other two were experimental treatments. We just got lucky. Where art thou shoppeth? Come on, dude. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. There you go. Do we get so much money? So much money. Okay, we're on the right track. Having a hard time with the fat bats. They have a lot of HP. Excuse me? Okay, he respawned for some reason. I think we have that curse that makes that happen. I need a way to put down my active items so I can reroll it. Thanatosis. Thanatosis is actually terrible for us right now. Uh, open secret room there, sir. It's not that terrible. Item. Damn, Tootin. Item. I should have used the, uh, the red bombs for both of those, to be honest. That was a waste of my own personal bombs. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. The bouncing off the mushrooms in a very wild manner. Okay, I'll use my Meteor Strike here. It's actually really hard to make Montezuma's Revenge hit in a meaningful way. How is this guy not dead? Oh, he's charmed, I think. I don't know what's happening. That enemy seems to be both charmed and ours and not at the same time, and I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him. Why isn't he moving? Okay, there you go. I think he was just like mid-death animation and very stuck. Can we leave yet? Thank you. Tithe. Ooh. Yes, I'll take it. It's an interesting item. Reroll. Keeper's sack. Hell yes. The hell's this? Holding space to spend five coins on one charge of your active. That's actually pretty good. And I think a lot of runs you could break the game with that. But that's not for us right now, I don't think. Redistribute 33% of your current coins, keys, and bombs randomly. Ooh, little 
risky, little risky. I think I'm going to keep rolling. When entering an angel room, receive full charge. If in angel room with broken hearts, remove three broken hearts and destroy the item. If not in angel room or no broken hearts, spawns a soul heart. Take one red heart damage on use. I don't really see the use case for that, I'm going to be honest. Increase strength of cloth of string. Um, increase strength of cloth of... Cloth on a string damage bonus by 25%, plus 25% damage, just 25% to kill the chance. Well, that works really well because we have that cloth, don't we? So, that's good. Good stuff. Okay. We out of here. Nice. We got this little synergy bonus between the two of them here. Giving us some pretty good damage and we got 25% gilded chance. I don't know how the gilded chance really works yet. There's a chance for things to be gold, right? Ooh, this is a cool looking boss, isn't it? Can I actually deal damage to him? No. But I can recursively create a mess. This is going to be a nightmare to fucking deal with. Wait for my tears to, to dissipate first, because I think I've got to kill this guy pretty much exclusively with bombs. There you go. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him. He's, he's bleeding a lot, which is good. He was valuable to us. I think I've got, got, got to get rid of, like, portions of his armor before I'm able to fully damage him. I think he's just going to kill himself via bleed, to be honest. He's had bleeding him for, like, this entire duration of the fight. Yeah, he just bled himself to death. As that worked out really, really well for us. I like it. I like it. Thank you for the meat. We've got a lot of HP to work with right now. And then what we got going on in here? I mean, Backstabber. We only need one of them, so it's a bit of a waste to take damage on this. But Backstabber seems like it's going to be pretty goddamn good. Don't think two Backstabbers does anything for us. Um, I will reroll you. Rotten Baby I will take, yes. Let's take the other pills first. Thanatosis, why do I keep using you? You're so useless to me. We've got two golden pills here. Damn it! I was really hoping there wouldn't be a telepills in there. I gulped my trinket, that's nice. I'm getting a lot of I can see forever, so we go to the next floor, unless my devil deal's still open. It is. Okay. My god, I'm getting so many I can see forevers. Holy shit, this is such a good golden pill. It's lasting forever. Man. Telepills! Why? Just keep spamming it. Hope for stats, among other things. So many red hearts. There you go. We're, we're all out. We're all out. Is the Devil Deal still going to be open? It's not. Okay. Cool. Right. Down to the regular floor now. Well, that, that golden pill really, really sorted us out, I think, didn't it? Really, really sorted us out. Right, let's keep this going. Tithe is going to do its thing. Ah, interesting. So Tithe takes away our, um, our money, then our bombs, then our keys, in exchange for a small chance for um, going to an angel, getting teleported to an angel deal. But, interestingly enough, oh, dude, the way this works is so broken. Gilded chance is so broken. 
So Gilded Chance, as you saw then, the bombs and keys that were thrown off of us were producing um, golden bombs and keys. We got golden bombs and keys. But then, as you can see here, the golden pennies, the pennies that the golden penny is producing is producing another golden penny, which produces yet another golden penny. So this is uh, this is pretty nuts. Well, we got 99 money now. Yeah, so 22% tw chance for everything that drops to be golden. But then all of these pennies spawn and all of them have a 22% chance to also be golden. Dude, this is so busted. I think it's something to do with the, the golden penny mod that I use. It changes the way that golden pennies spawn. But this is still pretty silly, isn't it? Oh, dude. Just everything. Like, I'm losing 1% pair room luck, but this is broken as fuck. Turns all trinkets into crack keys. Kind of useful, but not the best for us. Right, just keep it going. Shop would be lovely here. There you go. Thank you for being lovely. Jumper cables is very good. We've we got uh, Keeper Sacks. So we'll be buying literally everything that gets thrown our way here. Um, prevents negative door hazards from occurring. Nice. That's good. Um, yeah, that's good. Getting annoyed of all the fire sounds. Thank you. Placebo pill, I think I'll take, actually. I think that's a better item for us. PhD, pretty good. Plus it gives us a health up. Which I'm actually not going to use. I'd rather keep my soul heart health right now, but thank you. Oh look, a golden penny. That, oh, that, that one wasn't... That one didn't infinitely spawn. Okay, what's with all the spider unboxing bollocks? This is... Too much of the spider unboxings. There you go. This room's gone infinite, baby. It's only an 18% chance now, though, so it's a little hard to go infinite. But this room's done it. Man, these spider unboxing fools need to, need to go... There you go, it's a 99 again. Easy enough, right? Can, can, can all of these spiders run into this fire, please? Can you all die? I'm going to let this dude just, just absolutely destroy all of them. He killed quite, quite a lot of them, actually. Right, get in line with this buddy. And kill it, please. Oh, come on. How'd you miss that? Dude, get over here. I need you to kill this thing. Can I bomb it? No, I can't. It's just producing too much crap. There you go. It's fucking gone. Get rid of you. Sling your hook. Beautiful stuff.
Not bad, not bad. Right, Tithe should should help us out here with uh, getting an Angel deal. I should think, with 99 cent, we're pretty likely. But you'll see, uh, some of these some of these will be golden pennies. Which I can't grab immediately, because it's still doing its thing. Right, that took a while we got there. We've got Ivory Oil. Uh, cha charges all active items when entering an uncleared room for the first time. Large rooms charge two points. Obviously not very useful for us. We'll take that. Get wrecked, good sir. How about you? Yeah, now we have Stairway, but it's interesting. We're going to lose all of our money before we get to use Stairway, so... Not ideal. Stairway's actually really bad with Tithe here. Right, so hopefully before we lose all of our gilded chance we can get another golden penny spawning. Doesn't look like it. Just keep going. There you go, we found the boss very, very quickly there, that's nice. No golden penny, how dare you. Look at that one fucking massive tear that's circling around us from Cyst. That's funny. Honestly, experimental treatment, I will re-roll you, I'm not a big fan. Um, 5% to all stats, yes please. That's pretty good. Pretty good going. Right, how much money are you going to take off me this time? My stairway's right there, don't take it all. It's going to take it all. There's a golden penny right there and I can't grab it because I can't move. Oh, baby. Okay, 25% uh, chance to encounter a blessed floor. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to work, but I might be removing it because it might just break things. Okay, no, it doesn't break it. Surprisingly, it doesn't break it like I thought it would. Um... I'll take holy water, thank you. Pretty decked out thingy. It's another god mode room. What whoever whoever's out there managing god mode, what like what's the deal with just being like, um, I don't know how to balance these item rooms and such. I'm just gonna make them all incredibly overpowered. That's my one hang up about this mod, and there's no way to disable the custom rooms either. Oh dude, that looks beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane how overpowered the uh, the rooms from God Murder. All of them are just like here's free items. <laughs> Obviously, they literally cost, but there were so many items in there, so many more than normal. This looks so cool. I didn't really, I didn't, literally didn't know first one would work here. I'm so glad it does. <gasps> Got a golden penny. Yes. We got some slight recursion going on there. Not not quite the full level, but we got some. Yeah, we lose one percent gilded per room we enter, so you don't get it for long. So it's it, it's somewhat balanced. I think it's the way that it works with the glitchy golden pennies is a bit crazy. Let me out of there. We're all out of Gilded Chance now. Didn't even see that little zapper in the middle there. Wasn't expecting that. Um, spawns an orbital. Yep. Sounds cool. Uh, what's this? More damage to the deeper you go. When damaged for the first time in a room, all monsters are split in two. Ooh, that sounds spicy. And prank cookie as well. I, I, I've I really gambled pretty hard here, but... <gasps> it's okay. The gamble was worth it, because we got given this. Ha ha ha, that was really good timing for that. Some interesting stuff we just grabbed there. We're pretty strong. We do have 29 damage. I don't know when we got 29 damage, but... It's certainly helping. It's certainly helping. Okay. We go. We go. We can make it through the rest of this run, I think. Ah, tithe! Okay, actually, that was that was perfect timing. 
Um, yeah, I guess we'll take that. Wait. The stairway disappears if I get teleported away. That is, yeah, that's 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 more of a shame than I thought about. I didn't even realize that last floor. I don't even get to go to the stairway because it teleports me out. Very bad combination of items there. Very bad combination of items. Both very good items, but together, they don't really work. Wow, so that was literally a straight shot to the boss. That was beautiful. Oh my god. Be destroyed by the colour that I put f on onto you. It is beautiful, the colour. I'm going to go out for a nice run after this, I think. After this run. A run after this run. A real life run. Eh! The fuck? That chest was walking. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, dude. How is that going to work? Yeah, Lacrophage is doing some weird stuff. Do we just... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just go straight in here. Oh, what the fuck? The floor is off kilter. The floor is broken. Oh my goodness. What have we created here? Lacrophagy has that broken thing where sometimes it'll do like an insane burst of damage. It very much seems to be doing that right now. This is so fucking cool. <laughs> The tears that are unfolding. They like spread out and then circle. It's so cool. Not what I expected would happen here. My god, there you go. Into second phase, pretty damn sharpish. I don't know what's going on with the floor there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to disable God Mode for a little bit until uh, some of the wackiness gets a little sorted out. Because it's it's still... I know it's still in beta, it's still being worked on, but... There's definitely some, some work to be done. Oh, look at that burst damage. Lacrophagy. I love you. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a hell of a lot of fun. And a really, really interesting run we got out of that. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.